Hello and welcome to Cooking with Miss Brenda. I'm so glad you joined us today. I have a very special guest. I have Caleb with me. Hi, Caleb. Hello, Miss Brenda. Now, you are, your siblings have been here before. Tell us, um, tell our viewers who, who has been here before, that your brothers and sisters. Um, my siblings are Kaya Miller, Celeste Miller, and Christian Miller. And they were, they all three have been on this program, haven't they? Yes. And so you were the last one of your siblings to make it, but you made it, yes. you know, and I'm really glad that you're with us today. Tell me, what could you tell um, our viewers a little bit about yourself? How old are you? I am 13 years old. 13 years old. And look at this. He is almost as tall as Miss Brenda, or is he taller? I don't know. It, it's debatable. But can you tell me um, what kind of things that Melissa has, a, uh, our general manager, I can't reach that muscle like that. Hold on. There we go. All right. She's giving me my um, my iPad here so that we can welcome you to the program. But um, tell us, you're, you're 13 years old. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I like to sing at my church and do outreach pro programs. Mm -hmm. And I like to read also. You know, Caleb, I was really, before the program started, you were sharing with me about a creation project. A project. Tell me about that that you're involved in. Um, well, I had a science class which required me to share my thoughts on the origin of the universe. I had to present 12 Google slides about different beliefs on the origin of the universe, such as gap theory and young earth creationism. For the final slide I presented what I believe on the origin of the universe mm -hmm. and how was that received um, I got a hundred on it Wow congratulations you did you it sounds like you did the work though <laughs> you, was that a lot of work it was <laughs> but rewarding Do, isn't there a good feeling when you've done when you've done a good job isn't there a good feeling about that when you're done yes ma'am. yes yeah so I want to just uh, welcome some of our viewers here that are watching and all those tuning in, When uh, let me know that you're here. We love hearing from you and where you're from. I love it when you tell us where you're from. Can you just do me a favor? Yes. Like, um, Caleb's mic is making okay. Noise. Caleb's mic might not be working, so let's look and see if we can get his mic working. Is it blinking blue? It's, uh, let's see. Let me just try it again. All right, it's blinking blue. Okay, so we didn't get to hear you. Did they get to hear it enough to, should I have them repeat it? Santa said it was very quiet. It was very quiet. So how would you like to tell everybody about that all over again? Now we have his mic on, okay? And uh, so I asked him how old he was. He's 13 years old. Yes, and he loves to sing in church. Yes, ma'am. And he's involved in a creation project. Tell me about that again. And you can look right in there and tell our viewers. Um, for a science class, I had to present 12 Google Slides on the origin of the universe. I had to present the different thoughts on the origin of the universe, such as young earth creationism and gap theory. And then I had to present my beliefs on the origin of the universe. And what were your beliefs? Um, I believe that God created the world in six days. And he do it, did it by, just by speaking it. And he made our world perfectly. Amen. And do you know what, Caleb? I believe that too, don't you? I'm so glad that, and, and did, how did you do on that project? I got 100 on it. 100%, that's an A. Yes, ma'am. What did you do, just go, woohoo? Were you excited? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, I, I bet mom and dad were pretty proud of you too. They were. They are, in fact, mom, uh, your mom's name is Shelly. She's going to come and be a taster at the end of the program today because we are making Hungarian goulash. And I'm, for those of you who might not know, I'm Hungarian. Um, actually part Hungarian because my, my grandmother was Hungarian. She grew up in Hungary and my grandfather was from Bulgaria. And, uh, but we grew up with Hungarian goulash. So we're going to have that recipe today. But before we get started, I want to welcome some of you to the program. Um, go ahead and let us know that you're here. Tell us where you're from. I love hearing uh, uh, where everyone is from. Don't you, Caleb, to know where they're... Yes, ma'am. Yeah, uh, some places all around the world are joining us today, so we'd love to hear that. And um, also, if you have any questions at all throughout the program, go ahead and ask them. There's not any question that you might ask that's considered a stupid question. 
all questions are respected and valued. So go ahead, and I'm going to just welcome some of our program. We don't want to welcome our visitors. Yes, um, we have um, Jovial J. Ann is, um, is watching. Hi, hello, Jovial. And Gerald Mancia is watching. Hello, Gerald. We don't know where uh, they are from, so don't forget to tell us where you're from. Uh, Carolyn Walker from Wisconsin is watching. Hello, Carolyn. And my good friend, Dr. Lois Somerville from Florida. Hello, Dr. Lois. And then we have Bazzy Tori is watching. Hello, Bazzy. And then, um, oh, Alex and Ariana are watching here in Ottawa. And uh, so we're glad you joined us. Do you want to say hi to Alex and Ariana? Hello, Alex. Hello, Ariana. And maybe you guys want to come and be on the, on the cooking show with me. Um, let's see. We have, uh, and if you want to just come by and say hi, I'll be at the Village Market from 12 to 3 on Friday. Every Friday we're there with Miss Brenda's Bakery. Um, we'll say hi to Mary Guys watching from Hello, Northern Mary Michigan. Guys. And then Christ, um, uh, Christina. Hello, Christina. And Yvonne is watching. Hi, Yvonne. Mish is watching. Hello, Mish. And Carolyn wants you to know she's from Wausau, Wisconsin. Oh. And um, we have Paul Forrest is watching. Hello, Paul. And Kathy from sunny Florida. Hello, Kathy. And um, Micah and Michaela from Long Beach, California. Hi, Micah. Hi, Michaela. And um, they're waiting for their volumes three, four, and five of my bedtime story books. Melissa, we got those shipped out this week, right? So they ordered some of my bedtime story books. Boys and girls, if you go to kidsclubforjesus.org, uh, click on store, and you will see uh, the books that we have available for kids, and you can order uh, my bedtime story books. Denver Nelson is watching. Hello, Denver. Say hi to Denver. Hello, Denver. And uh, then Paul, let us know where you're from. Hastings Miller is saying hi, Caleb. Can, <laughs> do you know who that is? Yes, that's my dad. <laughs> well, say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Uh, do you want to give him a little special message? Um, How about you want to bring him a little sample? Yes. Tell I'm him, sure that, tell him you'll do I'm that. Sure I'll save a piece just for you. And then Sandra <laughs> is watching from Washington State. Hello, Sandra. And we're so glad so many of you are watching. So don't forget to tell us where you're from, okay? And we'd love to hear that. Well, t Don't forget to say hi to Anna who's watching from Hot Springs. Anna oh. is watching from Hot Springs, Arkansas. And guess what? Hello, Anna. Anna has done something that um, is so special. In fact, she inspired something new on our website. You know what that is? Um, she, whatever recipe we're doing, she has made the recipe and she takes a picture of her holding that recipe. And we started adding that to our website. Boys and girls, I want to encourage you around the world, wherever you are, make our recipe. Have, have um, um, your parents or uh, your grandparents or whoever it is, have an adult take a picture of it, of you with your, your, your dish that you've made of our recipe and then email it to us mail it to us whatever you want and we will add it to our website so i would love to get lots and lots of pictures of everyone making this recipe from around the world would that be not awesome that would be that good. would be so wonderful well um before we start with the recipe today though i have a very special letter that i wanted to read to you and caleb would you take this and oh, holding it like this going right on over there and hold it the camera so that you can see um, the letter and this is from a real a precious little girl in South Africa and I don't know how to pronounce your name correctly because uh, from what I understand they don't have this sound um, you can you can come back Caleb uh, they, they don't have this sound of an HL together in English is what I've been told but our media director Ash is from South Africa and she's in South Africa now um, I actually videotaped her to see if I could learn how to pronounce this. And she said it perfectly. She actually speaks Afrikaans. I don't. And Ash is probably rolling right now watching this program right now because guess what, Ash? I'm not going to attempt that name uh, because Ash said it and I still couldn't pronounce it. Um, you have to like um, gurgle in your throat a little bit to say that name. And I'm not good at that. So I'm going to spell it for you. Her name is H-L. And you know what? You should write this name, write her name down and see if you know how to pronounce it in African. You can Google it, okay? So her name is H-L-E-L-O-K-U-H-L-E. -L -L -E. See, do, do you want to take a, a shot at that? How would you pronounce that? Le, 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 le. 
You know what? That's a pretty good shot at that. I think we should give him a hand for that, right? <laughs> I think you deserve a little A for effort. But, Thank you. But I want you to know how much I'm excited that you're joining the program, that you're loving our cooking programs. And she says, hello, Miss Brenda. I love Kids Time and I watch Kids Time um, all the time and every Sabbath. I want to share with you, boys and girls, you can all watch Kids Time. Go to kidsclubforjesus.org, kidsclubforjesus.org, and you can watch Kids Time every day, every day. In fact, all of our programs are on demand. So you can watch as many programs as you want right in a row. You can watch them when you want to watch them. Is that not awesome? That is so. Wonderful. I want to thank you so much for for um, um, for writing to me. I love getting your letters, boys and girls. Keep sending those letters coming in. I'm going to put this over here. And Caleb right now is going to read our recipe for Hungarian goulash. Go ahead, Caleb. The ingredients for this recipe is one tablespoon of canola oil, mm -hmm. one medium medium onion. Two cloves of garlic, two cups of vegetarian burger, three tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of salt, one half a teaspoon of cumin, six cups of canned tomatoes, one cup of water, two teaspoons of sugar, one tablespoon of honey, one and a half cup of great northern beans, one and a half cups of dark red kidney kidney beans, four cups of cooked elbow macaroni. Ooh, that sounds like a lot of ingredients, doesn't it? But it's it, it it's really fast to do. I'm going to turn our our um, our pan up here just a little bit. We won't need this anymore, so I'll put this up here because the first thing we're going to do, Caleb, is we're going to get those onions cooking. So we'll go ahead and just pour in the canola oil, and you can use this to get scoop it all out of there. And then we're going to put our onions in the, in the skillet. I like my onions really well cooked, so we're going to start them right away. And so as soon as you've got that oil in there, you go ahead and put these onions in. I've already had them chopped. And I want to share with you about our burger. Now, I, I absolutely love um, the Eve's burger, but it's hard to find. Not a, you can't find it everywhere. And there's a lot of burger on the market that I'm not particularly fond of. There's so many different kinds. You can use your favorite burger. If you have one you like, that is the burger for you. So use whatever burger it is that you want. Um, what I use is I take these, um, it's called uh, Worthington or Loma Linda vegetable steaks. And, and uh, maybe I should bring it up here closer to you so that you can see it. Tell me when, Melissa. Okay, like that. So this is a product um, by uh, Loma Linda Vegetable Steaks. Is that good? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I, it doesn't have a, a, a flavor. It doesn't have a strong flavor. So what I do is I take these steaks, I drain them, I put it in my food processor, and I make a burger like this. So I'm going to just show you what that burger looks like. And how's this, mm -hmm. Melissa? Do I need to put it lower, higher, what? Okay, good. So you can see I've made my own burger and I love this because it has a good texture and it doesn't have a strong flavor. So it's not going to um, overpower your dish. I like a burger that I can add the flavors and it takes on whatever flavor I give it, right? All right, so you're going to need to keep that stir. You want to put that onion in there. You want to try to hop out of the pan right there. He's, tell him he's naughty. He's got to get back in the pan. All right, there you go. And while that's stirring, we're going to add our burger because guess what? That onion is, go ahead and stir all that up. That onion is going to flavor that burger. It's going to be really nice. Um, Melissa had a question for me. Pardon me? Yes, we do. We're going to put that um, in next. And what I do is I have a garlic press. I love this garlic press. And we're going to, you don't even, this, with this garlic press, my good friend uh, Gerda von Mauer in Germany she is the one, I was with her when, over in Germany, and she showed me the scholar press. I think anybody that's actually I love has gotten one of these as a gift from me. And, um, oh, by the way, if you didn't get one, I still love you. Okay. So. I've never seen that. <laughs> Isn't that nice? So we're going to just, I'm just going to shoot that right in there. And look at this. You just, I didn't even have to peel it or anything. And scooch that off of there if you would. Yep. Isn't that good? That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? And then, look at the cool thing about this, is that after, oops, I'm going to get all of that off. Let's see here, if I can just, 
There we go. And it and it's so easy to do. Now look, let me, let me show you what, what how easy it is. See, we got all that peeling inside of there. I'm just going to lift this thing out here, and I just scooch it off. That's all there is to it. And we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to put the next one in. Okay. And so. I've got my little tray here. I put the whole garlic cloves. I'm not taking off the peeling or anything. That's and amazing. Isn't that amazing? And here we're just going to shoot it in here again. You want to try shooting it? Yes. All right, right into the, right in there you go, okay? Just squeeze it together. Really hard. You got it? You go, whoa, yep, you got it. Whoa, good job. Look at that. You squeeze it really hard, and we'll just scooch that right in there. And... Now we're gonna, that yummy, can you smell, I wish you guys could smell this. We need smell vision that's what we need right now because that taste, that smells really good, doesn't it, does. it, in here? All that onion and the garlic, so we'll go ahead and just stir that up. And, um, and we're going to flavor all that burger with this garlic and the onions. And while you're stirring, well, how I can do this for you, I can stir while you can um, dump in. We've got some chili powder. All of our seasonings now just get dumped in here. And this is why it's so easy to do this. Okay, so we're going to put the chili powder in. We've got some uh, paprika. And this, while you're stirring it, is really just making these spices fragrant. And it really, um, let me just, you can give me these over here. And you go ahead and we've got some little cumin. You're gonna put the cumin in. We've got some salt you can put in. We've got a little bit of sugar because we're going to use uh, tomatoes and tomatoes are acidic and you put just a little bit of sugar in there um, uh, to just cut down on the acid, okay? And so go ahead and put all that in there and what happens when you're sauteing these, I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit, um, All it brings all these spices uh, to life. It just, yep, that looks really good. And it makes them very fragrant. So we're going to just add all that to the dish. Good job. Good job. We're just going to keep adding it and flavoring that. And I've turned up the, the heat so that now you can start hearing that sizzle again. Okay. And uh, how do you guys like our, our new equipment? Do you like our cameras now? You can get to see inside the pan. We're really thankful that God has just provided in so many ways. And we were thankful for the people that donated that so that we could have it. And you want to take this and just scooch that out of there so we get all of it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yep, that's it. And now we're going to, um, let's see, let's add just a little bit of water. We've got a cup of water we're going to add. Okay. And that's going to, and I'm turned it way up Is so that good? we can... Yep, that looks good. That looks good. Now you want to just keep stirring with that and get all mixed up. And you can see that's going to just get those onions nice and tender and clear. Uh, because I, do you like raw onions? Uh, no. No? I I, I'm, not, yeah, I'm not a friend of raw onions either. I don't think I met a raw onion I like, but I love them cooked. I love, they add so much flavor to dishes. I can't imagine having dishes um, without some cooked onion in it because um, it's, it adds so much flavor. Okay, so while you're stirring that and you're doing a really good job, we're going to add our tomatoes. These tomatoes are my mom's canned tomatoes. I love home canned tomatoes and my mom knows I don't have time because I've been so busy with children's ministry. I used to can't do all my own canning. I can more than a thousand jars a year. Uh, but I haven't had time to do that in a long time. And my mom cans these um, beautiful tomatoes every year for me. And my mom's watching right now. She's actually in the next room. But mom, I want to tell you, I love you and I thank you for these. And here we're going to add them right here. These are six cups of her tomatoes. And we're going to go ahead and put those in and stir them up. And I'll help you with this little one over here. And just stir that right up in there. And I'm worried that I'm going to run out of space in here. Um, here we go. And we're just going to let that cook and simmer for just a minute. And while that is, I want to know if we have any questions because the noodles are the last thing we add and we want to just get this bubbling and simmering. And I've kind of turned it up as high as it will go right there. So any questions you have so far, this is the time to let us know. Um, let's see, we have, um, uh, Crystal Waiters is joining us. Hello, Crystal. And we also have, oh, Gwen is joining us from Nashville. 
Hello, Gwen. And she's saying, I bet your house does smell good, and it does. Gwen, I wish you were here. Okay. You would want to taste this dish. And then Patty is joining us. Hello, Patty. And um, Carolyn says she likes the new equipment that we had on Praise Time on Sabbath. And that, um, and it's also, she likes our new camera so that we can actually see into the pot of what we're doing. That's really it cool, is, isn't it? It is cool. So I'm really glad that you, we have that as well. Um, if, um, and Gwen is saying hi to you too, hey, Caleb. Hello, Gwen. And so I want to say uh, thank you for that. Also, I want to encourage each one of you while we're just waiting for this to, um, to cook a little bit. I want to encourage you to join us every Sabbath. We're live here on Facebook at 5.30 Eastern Time for praise and worship. And if you have a favorite song that you would like me to play on the piano for you, uh, this you can uh, send me your favorite song and we'll play it. And I always have somebody here that sings. And so that we can sing and play and just have an hour of just praising Jesus together. And we have such a wonderful time. Uh, it, you, you should join us on Sabbath on the live. Do you have a, a favorite yeah. song you would like me to play for you? Um, joyful, joyful. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee. Yes, ma'am. Wow, you don't hear too many kids asking for that song. I'm pretty impressed. What do you like best about that song? Um, it's just, it's how it just praises God in just, just a few verses. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, I, I, I like it, that a lot, too. Um, tell me, what are some of um, the things that you like to do for when you're not... When you're not in school and doing those awesome school projects, what what kind of things do you like to do? Um, I like to work with wood mm -hmm. and build all sorts of things out of wood. Like recently, I made a katana out of a simple block of wood. Now, can you tell me what a katana is? I'll let you stir. It's like a long samurai sword. A samurai sword? Yes, that's rounded at the end instead of a triangle. Wow, now, and you called that a what? Uh, katana. Katana? Yes, ma'am. Wow, and and how did you happen to think about making that? Um, well, so I took a woodworking class a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and I had a sword with the triangle point, mm -hmm. and since then I've always wanted a katana to go with it. Oh, so I wow. just decided to make my own. Make your own. You're a pretty yes, smart boy. Isn't he pretty yes. smart? What do you want to do when you grow up? Um, I want to be a mechanical engineer. You know, I, I, could see, I could see that. I could see that. You'll probably invent something and be world famous. Thank you. You know, um, do, you want to, um, do you want to live in East Tennessee? Is this your favorite place to be? Um, I have several places I want to live when I grow up. Where? I haven't really do so one thought of mine is traveling the country mm -hmm. when I grow up. What part? What kind places. of things would you like to see? I wonder if there are any places I've already been. I would like to see the Roman Colosseum. I have been there, yeah. And the Opera House in Australia. Yes, I've been there and toured through it many times. And, and, you, and it is fascinating. Make sure you get the tour because then you learn all the behind the scenes. I mean, we have some people watching from Australia right now. I want to say hi to them. Hi. And... Uh, I've, I've actually been to Australia almost every year for the last, I don't know, almost 15 That's years. That's amazing. And, um, and I first went to Australia probably 30 years ago. Yeah. yeah. And I, I love it. And I have so many wonderful uh, friends there that are really just like my family there. And I, I, love, I love you guys very much. So where else would you like to see in the world? Um, the Jesus statue in Brazil. Oh, maybe. yes. I've been, I toured Brazil for about three weeks on a tour, and I love Brazil. And what about Israel? Uh, I would like to go there and see where Jesus lived and mm -hmm. where he grew up. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I, um, I, I think every, I would love everyone to have the opportunity to go to, to Israel because it changed the whole way, when I read the Bible, it changed the whole way I visually see things because once you're there, I'm like, oh, I didn't realize it was this. I didn't realize it was that. And, and uh, it was nice. I even actually got to see the real Pool of Bethesda. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Okay, that looks like it's, is it bubbling and simmering? Is it ready for our um, noodles? Okay, well, let's so. put our beans in first. And you can stir those in. And let's put these in. And boy, this is really going to be tricky. Um, I'm thinking that we might have to pour our sauce over our noodles. 
um, because that looks like it's not going to hold all of our noodles is what I'm thinking. So let me get a big bowl. Hold on one second. Sorry about that for everybody's ears. Um, but I'm thinking we're going to need um, a big bowl. And since that's nice and cooked and the onions look tender um, and you can see inside the bowl, um, I'm going to have you back up. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because it's basically cooked at this point. So I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to, um, and let's see here, yeah, put this over here and I'm going to have you back up because I'm probably going to spill this. So is that right in the middle where people can see? Y'all might as well watch me, you know, if I'm going to spill it, I'm going to spill it, right? Here? Okay. All right, here we go. This is going to be tricky. Woo! All right. That was tricky. Okay, so we're going to put that back in. And now you want to just put the noodles in. And can everybody see inside there? All right, just you can just dump it out and mix them up when you're there. Yep, good job. Isn't Caleb doing a wonderful job? I'm so proud of you, Caleb. Thank you. And I really am proud. Would you like to come back and cook with me again sometime? Yes, ma'am. What's your favorite food? Um, uh, besides noodle, I, he likes pasta, so that's why we had this dish today. You want to mix that up in there? Because he loves pasta. And go ahead and just mix that up. And you can have more noodles if you want to. You can have as many as you want. Uh, this is just, uh, um, it's a little, it, it, you would serve this in a bowl, not a plate. Mm -hmm. um, but if you want more noodles, and you can put any kind of pasta in it. It doesn't have to be the elbow macaroni. Any of your favorite pasta you can put in there. And go ahead and mix that up, and we'll get a, a spoon. I, let me get a, some little bowls here. And, and I think we're going to need some spoons. And guess what? We're going to ask your mom to come out and join us. Come on, Shelly, come on out. You can do it. Here comes your mama. I tell you what, this woman is a godly mother to raise such a wonderful young man. Thank I want to just say, Shelly, you have to be awfully proud of this young man. I am. And I have met all of your children, and they all love Jesus. Yes. And that's a testament to their mom and dad. Praise the Lord. It really is. Praise so are you ready for this? Didn't, yes, I am. Is, is this something you think you can make for everybody at home for supper? Yes, all right okay all right let's put some in here and let's you're gonna have to let it cool off just a little bit because that's gonna be so spicy is, is this like a hungarian version of chili you know it's it's, it's 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 very typical to that isn't it you know it, it seems like that but um a little bit, thank different, you. And a little bit different in the seasonings but yeah come up close here and let that cool a bit mom we want to know how do, as a as a mother who loves jesus uh, what are you doing different that maybe other families? What are you doing that for, to raise your children to, to love Jesus, to be respectful? Um, it's every one of her children are respectful. I've never had one of them come here and say, not say yes, ma'am, you know, um, uh, you know, no, ma'am. I mean, they are so polite, and they always just shine for Jesus. What what could, advice could you give parents? Oh, that's a you put me on the spot. I have a loving, wonderful, God fearing husband who puts God first and he leads our home. And as parents, we just try to maintain consistency. We have family worship every morning, every evening. Try to teach the children that seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness will be added unto you. So that's pretty much how we try to do every day. We're not perfect, <laughs> but we know how to get down on our knees and ask for forgiveness and start over. Isn't that beautiful? That is really beautiful, Shelly. That means a lot to me that you would even share that because there's a lot of parents that are struggling. They have kids that are sassy. They have kids that are, you know, not respectful. Um, you know, is it too late for them? What What would you say? Absolutely not. God can change anyone. He's cast the demons out of people. He can change anyone at any time. So we've been through, I wasn't always a stay at home, homeschool mom. I was a working mother and I did life very different and God just brought people into my lives when I went down on my knees and asked him to help me raise the children that he has given me. He knows your children better than you know them. So please just go to Jesus, leave it in his hands. Give them to Jesus. Give and that, them to Jesus. And that is really the truth, yes. isn't it? Because, yes. you know, um, I, I don't know what people do that don't have God in their life. Yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, it's, and, and you said, I mean, I love that she mentioned morning and evening worship. That's the way I grew up. There was nothing that was more important in our home than, than, than our time with God. And it didn't matter if we were late for a dentist appointment or a doctor appointment or late for school, nothing was going to shortchange God on his time. We didn't just like hurry through worship because we were running late. And you know what that says as, as to children when parents set that standard? It, it sets that standard and says, you know, how important God is in mm -hmm. that home, how mm -hmm. God is everything in that home. Mm -hmm. And that makes all the difference in the world. Mm -hmm. And when they're old enough, encourage them to have their own personal worship apart from family worship because yes. you want them to, to start that habit young. So they go to God first in the morning. So, Amen. In fact, if you go to our website, kidscomfortjesus.org, we have a daily devotion that you can go to the website. And every day there's a devotion just for you. Mm. And we also have Bible mm. lessons that you can take. So now you have, we've already, Caleb didn't wait. He's mm. like, I got to have some of this. What do you think, Caleb? It's delicious. I love the seasonings in this. This is amazing. Oh, so it's something you would make at home? Yes, yes. ma'am. See, now you can tell me the truth because it won't hurt my feelings. No, so, you know. Is, this is very <laughs> nice. We're from the islands, the Caribbean, uh -huh. so things are highly seasoned in the Caribbean. So we like this type of flavor. So it's really great. What what yeah. part of the Caribbean? Um, my father's from Trinidad, and my stepmom's from Jamaica. So oh, okay. We have high standards. Well, I've been to both. I actually <laughs> was a camp meeting speaker in Jamaica not long ago, and uh, for your main camp meeting. And then I also I've been to Trinidad quite a few times uh, for big, huge children's events, and and love the people there. So and my mom's from Trinidad. And your mom's from Trinidad. So, so yeah, hey, Trinidad you're, you're from good stock. Yes. You're from good stock. Very good food. Well, I want to encourage you um, to make this recipe and take a picture and send it to us. Uh, all the, the address and, and the email address is on our website, kidsclubforjesus.org. And I did really ask that you would, uh, we're completely funded by donations. We're a, a 501c3 corporation. And so we have, um, everything we do is, is funded uh, by you. So uh, I'd ask that you prayerfully consider what God would have you do to help support our ministry so that we can keep doing what we're doing. And, and uh, join us every Sabbath for our live praise and worship program every Sabbath on our Brenda Walsh Ministries page on Facebook. Um, we are coming to you live with I'm at the piano playing your favorite songs. We have a, a special guest singer with us every week. And we just have a wonderful time praising Jesus. Um, next week, we have a special guest with us. Jenna will be back with us next week for co uh, Cooking with Miss Brenda. And our recipe is our curried lentil pie. And this, this recipe we were talking about, he likes to travel. He wants to travel around the world. This recipe was also uh, inspired from one of my trips to Australia. They have some very savory pies there. When you say pie in Australia, they don't think of a sweet pie as much as you think of a savory pie. And the, I ha first had this over there in Australia, and I loved it so much, I came back and recreated the recipe, and I'm going to share it with you next week. Yeah, but yes. More Melissa's there. saying we have a couple more comments, and let's see, we have um, Rhonda. Hello, Rhonda. Uh, Rhonda's yeah. joining us from, uh, from Wisconsin, and she's been missing. I want you to know, Rhonda, I have been praying for you. Uh, Rhonda w was recently... Uh, in the hospital and had some surgery. And so let's just say a prayer for Rhonda. Uh, would you mind just having a prayer for her right now um, okay. that God would, um, you know, be her great physician? Let's just bow our heads real quick. Um, dear Heavenly Father, please help Rhonda. Please help that the aftermath of the surgery goes well and that she doesn't have to go back. Please heal her. Please be her physician. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen and amen. And uh, also, um, Sparrow is, uh, Sophie Sparrow has joined us, and she says that looks yummy, and it is yummy. I can't wait for you to try it, and I'm really hoping that you guys will just uh, go ahead and make this recipe, send us a picture, and let us put it on our website. Wouldn't that be fun? And you'd see how many, how many pictures we get on here, and I'm really excited to see that happen. Next week, our curried lentil pie. You will not want to miss that recipe. You want to tune in, Caleb. Even though you won't be here, you're going to want to hear that recipe as well. Well, that's all the time we have today. I want to thank you so much for joining us. I want to just encourage you to have an awesome week praising Jesus all week long. Remember, boys and girls, it's kids' time to share Jesus. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you.